Hello everyone! In today's video, we are going to learn how to create avatar-inspired title intro animation in After Effects without using any third-party plugins. I will also share some of my useful techniques and a bonus free script for you, so watch till the end. By the way, you can download this project file by the link in the description below for practice, or you can get this template from my website. Alright, let's start the video. Let's create a new composition first and name it whatever you want. And then I set this comp as a full HD resolution at 24 frame per second. Also, I set the duration of this comp to 10 seconds. Then I select the text tool and write our text. Then I align this to the center. For your reference, I'm using this font. Then I select the text tool and pre-compose it as title holder. Check this box and click OK. Now I'm going to import a texture image into After Effects. I downloaded this image from texturelabs.com and then I add it to our timeline and then I change this texture track mate to title holder layer. By the way, if you can't find this section, so you can simply toggle the switches to see this section. Now I create a new solid layer. Name it as Ramp. And then I add a gradient ramp effect to this solid layer. After that, I select the layer. And then I click this icon, which is a transparency icon. So our gradient applied to text. And then I change this layer mode to color. This way our text revealed the texture. Then I place solid layer above all the layers. Also I change the white color to dark orange. And then I change the black color to white color. Now I open the scale property of this layer and I change the height like this. Also, we can change the gradient points to achieve this look. Now I'm going to add a curves effect into the texture layer. And then I change channel to red. And then I change the curve slightly like this to increase radness. After that, I add a new adjustment layer into this timeline and then I search effect called glow. And add it to this layer. Let's change the glow threshold to 80%. And then I change glow radius to around 30%. So we got some cool glowing effect on this text. Then I select all the layers and pre-compose it. Give a name a bevel. Then check his box and click OK. After that I right click and then go to layer style and add bevel and emboss to this layer. After that, I open the Bevel and Emboss properties. And here, first, I change the technique to Channel, Hard. And then I change the direction to Down. Also, I change the size around 3. You can also increase the size to get a rocky look. But for now, I set it to 3. Let's close this layer. And then I pre-compose this layer as a title. Then I go to the project panel and now I'm going to add our video footages into After Effects. And then I add it to our timeline. Then I select first layer and change its mode to screen. So it's visible on our composition. And then I search a tint effect and add it to this layer. Let me solo this so you can see what's happening. Then I change the white color to dark orange color to match the text and then I copy this tint effect and paste it to another video footage and now it's our background is matching with our text. After that I'm going to create a new composition. You can create by clicking this icon or simply using the shortcut key. Control plus N and then I name it as a fire text. Then I select a text tool and write a letter, for example A, and then I align it to the center of this composition. Also I increase the size of this letter. 
and then I go back to the main composition and turn off the visibility of all layers. Also, I lock them as well and then I hide from the timeline. So we got a blank space for now and then we can add a fire text composition into this timeline. Now I'm going to import fire video footages in After Effects and then I add it into the timeline. After that, I change their mode to screen so we can see the visibility in our composition. So I select the second video footage and change its position as well as the scale. Then I select the second layer and adjust its rotation as well as the scale like this. Then I select the layer 1 and then I scrub the timeline around 1 seconds and then I open its opacity value and add a keyframe then scrub the timeline and change its opposite to 0 so it will disappear. Now I animate the second layer like this. So when the first layer disappeared then the second layer is appear in the composition. After that, I select both layers and pre-compose them as Fire Comp, check this box and click. OK. After that, I click the transparency icon and it will apply it on our text. And now it's looking like fire is burning under this text. Now I duplicate this Fire Comp and then I turn off the transparency icon and then I change its mode to screen. So we can see the text behind it and then I select the pen tool and create a rough mask over this layer like this. And then I select the mask feather tool and then I click here and expand it a little bit and then I click this point and now you can see how we can change the feather amount by this feather tool. I repeat this process once again and now we got a smooth fader like this. Then I press F to see the mask feather property and I change the value to increase the feather amount a little bit. Then I add just its mask point slightly. And if I play the preview so you can see how it's looking, it's looking like the text is burning. And it looks so natural. And we got this with just a stock video footages. Right now this fire is looking very fast and I want to slow down the burning process. So first I pre-compose all of the layers, name it fire, check this box and click OK. After that I right click. Then I go to time and I select that time remapping option. So you can see we got two keyframes. Now I place the time indicator at the four second mark and add a keyframe. Then I delete the last keyframe. Then I drag this keyframe to the 10 second mark. So our video is slowed down. Now I turn on the visibility of rest of the layers. And then I place the fire layer below the title layer. Also I want to lower the opacity of both background layers. Right now we already set up our scene and it's time to add a camera and create a camera movements. So first I select all the layers and then I click on this 3D icon to make those layer as a 3D layers and then I am going to create a new camera into this scene. And I am using two node camera options. Also, I use an 80 millimeter lens for this scene. And then I add a new null object and rename this as a camera controller. And make this layer as a 3D layer and then I expand the view so you can see there are a option called a camera view. So right now I choose a top view. So we can see the top view of the camera. 
So right now, this is our null object. And this is our camera. And I want to change the null object position like this. So first, I copy the camera position and then I paste it to camera controller position. Now our null object perfectly aligned with the camera. Then I select the camera layer and parent it to the camera controller layer. And now we can control our camera by camera controller. After that, I select the camera controller layer, then expand the view. And now I change one view to two view option. So right now, we can see our active camera view and the top view at the same time. So I select the fire layer and drag it to this way. So it will set at the behind. And then I scale up to fit to this comp. Then I select both background layers and drag this and put it behind the fire layer. Also, I scale up to fit the comp. And then I scrub the timeline and set it around 8 seconds mark. And then I open the position of the camera controller and add a keyframe. Then I go back to the first frame and change the Z value of the camera controller in the negative direction, like this. So if I play the preview, so we got a zoom in effect like this. Then I scale up background footage once again to fit the comp. Now it's time to add a camera blur or depth of field in this scene to make a realistic scene. So first I select the camera layer and then I open its camera options and then I turn on the depth of field. After that I scrub the timeline and put it around 5 seconds and then I change the focus distance so you can see how it react. So I increase the focus distance to title layer, just like this. And if I increase the aperture so you can see the background is blurred because I focus on the title layer. And if I increase the focus distance, you can see our title is blurred because the focus is on the fire layer. Then I place the marker at the first frame and set the focal distance on our fire layer and add a keyframe. Then I drag the time indicator to the 4 seconds and then I change the focus distance and set it on the title layer. So our title layer is focused and the background is blurred. So this gives us a cinematic kind of effect. After that, I close the camera layer and then I select the title layer and search an effect called Inky Linear Wipe and add it to this layer. So our title reveal like this. Now I select the first keyframe and easy ease them. Right now you can see a white edges of our titles. So I add a keyframe on the opacity value and then animate the opacity like this. And now we got a smoother reveal title animation. After that, I scrub the timeline and go to the 5 seconds and then I animate the opacity values of the fire layer like this. After that, I select all layers, then I pre-compose it, name it as a final check this box and click OK. After that, I search a glow effect and add it to this layer. Then I change the glow threshold to 80% and then I change the glow radius to 30% so we got some cool glowing effect on the overall scene. You can play with the glow settings as per your requirement. And then I search a motion tile effect and add it to this layer. And then I change the output height to 73. So we got this cinematic cropped frame look. Alright, so now I want to share some of the tips with you so you can use it in your projects.
So right now, if you want to change this text, so simply open the title holder composition. And then you can rename this text whatever you want. And when you go back to the main composition, so title is updated. And if you want to change the file text, so go to the composition and rename this letter. And when you go back to the main composition, so it will looks little different. So let me show you how to fix this. First, go to the fire comp and then select the fire composition layer and then change the mask according to your letter. And then I go back to the main composition and voila, we got a different text as well as a different fire letter. One more thing I want to tell you that when you working on this kind of project, so got so many unorganized file in your project panel. And I have a free script for you to organize this project. The script link in the description below. So let me show you how to use this script. Once you installed the script, go to window and here you will find the file organizer. Simply click on this so you will get this kind of pop-up box. Then simply click the Organize Files and Precomps button. And when you click on this, your project files are organized and you got different folders like footages, PNGs and so on. So that's how you can create an avatar-inspired title intro animation in After Effects without using any third-party plugins. So that's it for now. See you in the next video.